ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا وليس فقط الذين كفروا ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين آمنوا لا يجوز للمسلم أن يفتن الآخرين عن دينه يعني أن يكون سببا في صرف الناس عن الدين عندما يتشوه الدين بالنسبة لهم عنده دين مشوه لا يطبق الاسلام تطبيقا صحيحا. لا يقوم بتعليم الاسلام على النحو الذي يريد الله سبحانه وتعالى. اذا نظره الاخرين الى هذا المسلم الذي لا يحترم اسلامه ولا يحترم دينه ستكون نظره يعني قاصره. يقولون اذا كان هذا هو الاسلام فنحن لا نريد الاسلام. لذلك علينا أن نحسن من أداء المسلمين حتى إذا رأنا الآخرين قالوا هذا مسلم عندما يكون المسلم صادقا أمينا أخا للناس معينا لهم عندما يكون يعني على النحو الذي يرضي الله عز وجل يعني يجب أن يشار إليه هذا مسلم لذلك يا إخوان لابد أن نكون صورة طيبة لمنظور طيب يراه الناس الاخرين فيحبون هذا الاسلام ويقبلون على هذا الاسلام يعني ولا يمكن ان يشبع فطرتهم ولا قلوبهم ولا عقولهم الا الاسلام فنسال الله عز وجل يعني ان يجعلنا هذه الصوره الطيبه وهذه الصوره التي تجذب الناس للإسلام إن الله سميع مجيب. Brief translation to what you man is saying. Just please please go. Just we've got one the last the 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 the. We've got very very important announcement. Very important. It's going to happen. The last the last one. Inshallah, so we will understand. Inshallah, brother of us is going to announce and just. Be a Muslim now, so you know. Just to introduce this by saying that everyone, uh, every Muslim, need to be a good character to reflect on this religion. When you go out to the streets and to work, work sites, uh, when you be a good character, you are reflecting on your religion. So you will be like a messenger for this religion. You will be a da'wah without you even know. So, uh, Imam, 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 saying that we. Uh, we, we attract the others to our religion by being good characters and doing good deeds. And we push them away from our religion if we are the opposite. So what you do outside is very important as a Muslim. And tonight we are here just to witness one of these uh, miracles of the Islam and miracles of the Quran. Um, inshallah, we've got a brother who... Yesterday, I'm just going to tell you the story. It's a very simple story, but it's it's got a meaning at the end. It's got a taste. We can taste all of us, and we can reflect when we go outside. Look, yesterday, after Asr prayer, we've got a uh, brother of us. His name is Shane. He just came through that door and just knocked on the door and said, "Can I speak to anyone? I would love to know about Islam." So he said, "Okay, you all can come through." So he started telling us, like he wanted to know more about Islam. I asked him, what do you know about Islam? Where did you hear about Islam? How did you come to the conclusion that you need to come here and ask about Islam? Do you know what he mentioned? Just one thing. Just one simple thing. That few years ago, someone, some Muslim, is not even practicing Islam. He's not even praying. He gave him a copy of the holy book and said, Man, that's the true religion. But himself is not practicing it. But look, he, he gave him that book, which is the Quran. He read the book three pages. Three pages of that book a few years ago. And he read exactly the straight path way, as sirat al mustaqim And since then, he's been thinking that <coughs> There must be something about this religion. There must be something about this book. He's been searching in Bible, he's been searching in the Torah about the 
true path or the straight path, but he couldn't find it. And then he said, I'm going to look, I'm going to look that door and ask, what's your religion, God? Just tell me more about it. He knows, he knows nothing about Islam. He knows nothing. He knows that Muhammad is a prophet. Allah. Jesus, in his belief, that is a son of God and know nothing about Islam. Just the only thing he knows, the three lines or the three pages he read is a straight path. So we sat with him, we explained the Islam and Allah guided him and I've told him yesterday, don't you think that you chose Islam? Allah chose you to come here. You've been guided. You, you, Allah showed the light for you and then you came straight to the most where we worship Allah and he asked and you got the answers. We gave him the book. He didn't go to the work today because he was drawn to that book, to the Quran, to the miracles of the Quran. He was reading it through it. And he came today to announce his Shahada and testify the Shahada in front of all Muslims. He's convinced 100%. I swear by Allah, we asked him so many times, are you convinced? Please go and dream. And he said, I'm convinced. I'm ready. I'm wasting my time. I swear by Allah, that's what he said. I'm wasting my time now praying to Allah. Allah, he, I swear he said that. I'm wasting my time now praying to Allah. I'm wasting my time now knowing Arabic language. I'm wasting my time. I wanted to be on the true path as soon as possible. Allah, I haven't said him, I haven't told him that. Allah himself pushing me, please, please make me a Muslim. How? What do I need to do? So Alhamdulillah, he made ghusl, shower, he had a shower, he had a wudu, he testified with us before and he did Aisha prayer. Now he's gonna stand up with the Imam, he's gonna announce the shahada so you know that you've got a brother. Now we needs your help, needs your support, needs your patience with him because he's new, he doesn't know our religion. So please make him welcome. Please make him feel that we are a family. Make him feel that we apply the Quran when we read it. Make him feel what the Prophet وسلم, said in the hadith, Al Muslim Akhul Muslim. The Muslim is the brother to the Muslim. So be a brother to him and he will be a brother to you, inshallah. Shayan, please come forward. <laughs> يرضي عنا رب العالمين سبحانه وتعالى أخونا الكريم نطق بالشهادة أمامنا أمام بعض الأخوين أهل المسجد والحفظ لكتاب الله تعالى وأحب أن يعني يعلمكم بهذا الإسلام فنسأل الله عز وجل أن يتقبل منه وسينطق بالشهادة إن شاء الله أو بشهادتين أمامكم لتشهدوا على هذا على إسلامه الذي نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى يعني أن يبارك في أوقاتنا وأيامنا وأعمالنا حتى يقبلنا الله عز وجل ويرضانا أشهد أشهد أن لا أن لا إله إلا 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 الله لا وأشهد وأشهد أن أن محمدا محمدا رسول رسول الله لا وأشهد وأشهد أن أن عيسى عيسى عبد الله عبد الله ورسوله ورسوله الله الله just translation so so they, they without we not we just that's exactly what we are telling him I bear witness there is no God trustworthy worshiping but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is slave, his messenger and slave, and I bear witness that Jesus is his uh, slave and messenger. Yes. Congratulations, brother.